Hello, I'm Dave Hollidge and I build custom bows. I'm here in Marahau, New Zealand. I'm easy to find. Welcome to my shooting range here. This is where I test all the bows that I build. And this is where I teach novices and people, anyone who's keen, I'll show them how to shoot the longbow or the recurve. This video is about how to shoot the longbow. Uh, these are some of the bows that I'll be shooting with. This is a long bow, 68 inches long, about 50 pounds this one. This is a recurve, very popular. It's a smooth shooting bow, has a built-in curves into it, which imparts a bit more velocity to the arrow. And the other one is another version of a long bow. I custom build them and they're all of different weights, different designs. And I suit the bow to the, the archer, they draw how strong they are. And uh, if you're keen, come and introduce, introduce yourself to me. I'll see if you have the potential to be an archer, nearly everyone does. And we'll learn how to shoot the longbow. And first thing to learn with shooting the longbow is how to stand. We stand with our feet in line with the target. Perhaps a little bit facing, not much though personal choice. The next important thing is how to hold the bow. Handle right where it should be, center of the bow, the balance point, considering our fingers. And hold it like so, so that this part of the bow will be against the back of the thumb right there underneath the arrow shell. We don't grip it too hard because the action of pushing the bow and the fingers curled around just to hold the bow so you can control it and it doesn't jump out of your hand. Also, to hold the bow in consideration for the elbow and the shoulder is to hold the bow in this position horizontal and twist the wrist, not the elbow, up to about two o'clock. You never have it completely upright, always on a bit of an angle. This kink in the arm allows clearance for the string. Knocking the arrow and gripping the string. The arrow is knocked underneath knocking point which is placed in its ideal position the fingers in the first joint of the first three fingers with a strong grip with a strong hook we grip the string or the alternate version is split fingers the pull is probably the next thing the draw the draw is accomplished by holding the arrow and in this occasion pointing it directly at the target where you want to shoot. Now the draw is done like so with the shoulders and the forearm are all in line and the fingers are just relaxed at the point of release and the hand comes back. Concentrating on the target is uh, essential point. Look at the target, concentrate on it, focus on it. Without dropping our eyes from the target, start to draw the bow. Point the arrow directly at where you're looking and draw it all the way back to the anchor point at the corner of the mouth and the hand comes back. Sighting the target is ensuring that your shoulders and your body is all sideways to where you're looking at, sort of looking over your shoulder. With the bow in the approved place, hand in the right place, you grip the string. Now we're still looking and looking at the target and when we come to full draw we'll see that arrow but we won't look at it. We just have a little bit of our vision 
on the arrow, but it's mainly concentrated on the target. And at that point, we're going to line it up, and then at the point of release, we keep the pressure on pushing and the pressure on pulling, but we never straighten our arm out. We always keep it locked in that position there. Now, I'll go through the, the full draw now. Now, the full draw is now I'm looking at the target, moving on to my left foot a little bit, so I'm leaning forward, looking, looking at the target, bringing the bow up, not moving the body at all, feeling the pressure on the back of my thumb, pressure on, and release. Looking on the target, leaning forward, looking at target, red spot, and release. Gripping the string, pressure on, bringing it up, pulling it back, shoulders, arm in line, relaxed fingers. That's the release. Release is one of the most important parts of the whole shooting of an arrow. It's the final point at which the arrow leaves your bow and it must be accomplished with a fluidity and complete backwards movement. We don't pluck it or drop the hand. Or A big mistake is to give it a soft lend let off where at point of release we let, just let the clutch, clutch in and it doesn't work that way. We keep the pressure on, pulling and pushing and at the point of release the fingers just uncurl and come backwards. So there's no adverse pushing and no adverse pulling but an equal and then at that point when you're sure about it you go oh. and to keep the body perfectly still and be pre-programmed that you're going to be perfectly still until the arrow hits the target and in that zen moment is when you'll see the arrow hit the target where you're looking on release also particularly for beginners it's important to, when drawing the string, we draw the hand backwards in line with the angle of the bow. In other words, we don't twist the bow, twist the string, I should say, we twist the bow. We want to keep that all in line. And as it comes to full draw, place that arrow without looking at the arrow, right where you're looking. So you come up, not in line, I come in line, I'm in line. And at that point I would have let it go. Up till now I've been shooting with this bow, which is a long bow. I'm going to shoot at twice the distance, which is 40 metres. And I'm choosing this bow, which as you can see is quite a bit longer. The reason I'm cho choosing this is I'm more accurate with this one, more familiar with it and it's more powerful for long distance. This is my target which has evolved over the last seven years and it's got taller and taller to catch the arrows of the novices and they're steep in the next door paddock. But these points wouldn't damage the sheep. So we've got lots of different icons and the idea is to, this is a favourite one to shoot that have white space around it you'll see the arrow as it travels against the background here. Whereas here, it's maybe you have to concentrate harder on this, this spot here. But we have here, Fluffy Bonnie, a favourite with the kids. And the Fluffy Blue Bunny, most favourite target of all. 50 cents from Salvation Army, but the poor fellows still alive I think, could be shot a few more times. So we'll be shooting at 40 paces and I'm going to go back to 40 paces. We'll be shooting at 20, we're going to go back to 40 um, and see what our accuracy is like. It's a great favourite of mine as the arrows are in the air longer and if you've got a nice powerful bow arrow moves in a gentle arc and it's in the air for a longer amount of time and you can save at the moment when it's flying through the air target. Wonderful.
So let's do that. Go back to 40 paces. This is 20 paces. Uh, we're going back to 40 now. Here we are at 40 places. The rules are the same. We stand sideways to target. This is a bigger bow. This is a longer bow and it's more powerful. By the way, we have a, a J. J for Jacinta. I'm going to be trying to shoot the dragon's left eyeball. So we'll have a go. This will be the first shot at this distance. And it takes a few shots to get your eye in. But Jacinta, we'll see if we can hit the dragon in the left eye. Oh, six inches out. I'll have another shot. This is just the center. Same target, left eye of dragon. Oh, six inches. This arrow is for Aaron. E for Evan, Aaron. Okay, Aaron. Left eyeball, Aaron. I think I might have got it. Shall we go and have a look? So, here's the results. This Jacinta arrow, J arrow, was just clipped, just clipped him. The second shot, about the same distance from where I was aiming, but Aaron, we got it. We got Dragon, left eyeball. That's the Dragon's left eyeball. Congratulations, Aaron. So, that's about how to shoot a bow. Basic introduction to the bow. But I can give you full tuition, it's free. Donations welcome. Come and visit me here in Marahau, New Zealand, and have some fun. And you sell them too, don't you, Dave? And I sell them, I custom make them and sell them. These are a few of them. There's many different designs. And a custom bow is really important. You have to get your exact weight to have a comfortable shot. And I can do that for you.